Hello the world. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this other video. Uh, today I wanted to talk about um, IFC and uh, or actually uh, what it takes to get your project from let's say Revit into FreeCAD or what you're likely to get. Um, so I have this basic Autodesk Revit basic sample project that comes along with Revit. Uh, when you get it so i thought it was a pretty good idea to use this project because it has a level of complexity um it has a variety of shapes and features walls uh terrain trees and uh everything uh basic families that have been modeled in inside uh revit like this uh wind turbine which is made up of a, of a regular revit family and you have components like curtain walls and and kitchen desk and chairs and all the you know the roof design systems you know so it's fairly complex as a detail and then you have the topo and everything else that goes along with that so i wanted to show you uh what it looks like if you were to let's say carry your project into into freecad now because i've been doing this uh, video uh, i've been recording several versions of these videos and just to only realize that the quality is so poor um, this has to do with the fact that running Revit and, and, and FreeCAD alongside are uh, extremely memory intensive especially the fact that I'm running a recording software as well to record this as I'm as I'm doing this so what you know it, it, it was a lot easier to go back and forth to show you different things while I'm talking between Revit and FreeCAD but because it's uh, such a memory intensive uh, playground I'm just going to have to close uh, Revit uh, and, and can jump into FreeCAD uh, but when you're inside Revit if you want to export your project into FreeCAD all you have to do is you have to hit export and and uh, and go to IFC and then save it somewhere in, on your on your on your system before you can open it in, in Revit. So now, depending on the size of your free of your Revit file, like this has a lot of information. Uh, uh, Revit is going, uh, FreeCAD is going to import them and try to convert IFC into BREP files and STEP files, B R E P and STEP file, S T E P files, uh, so that uh, it's easily manageable. And so that can take a lot of time in terms of trans translating so you could you know it took me about uh i'll say a good average of about 10 minutes to open the ifc inside revit uh, inside freecad so i'm not going to do that in this in this video because it's it, it takes it, it takes some some quality time so i'm just going to close this one so here we're inside uh freecad now and so as you can see uh things like the top top, top topology did not really um import um so you'd see that um the project did open up pretty well things that you were not really, really expecting and they will import like the trees for example um it, you know i'm not sure if you can get this any cleaner than this in in freak at this point but i know that if you were to if you had this sort of model in in, in blender you can clean up this sort of crazy lines but uh, it doesn't matter for, for now. You could just delete these trees in, 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 in Revit when you're doing your import. Uh, but this is just to show you what works and what didn't work. Okay. So here, for example, uh, there's some minute discrepancies, for example, uh, like you'd see uh, here I have this curtain glass, which did not import the, the curtain glass here. For example, uh, you know, there's no glass here, but you can see there's a glass panel here. Uh, right here and uh, but this other panel did not import and then on this side you have all this blue uh, which is strange um, you know and on this and some some of the panels here are missing on the on, on over here and then another thing is interesting is that this panel it, it imported one mullion as you can see here this is two mullions but here the mullion is kind of joined and it's also a different material so it's very interesting that there are some of these discrepancies so now on the roof for example another strange effect is the fact that this window came in right and this window didn't come in right strange um but it's what it is um but the the model you know for the amount of detail and information that you get it's fairly uh it's already useful i mean uh 
you know, if you were to work on the, in this file inside FreeCAD, FreeCAD at this point, this file is useful inside FreeCAD because fixing fixing all of these small minute issues is just a, you know drag move rotate type of feature. Um, uh, you know, uh, for example, if I wanted to select this panel and just clone and copy all around for the remaining panels, I can easily I can easily do that. Um, um, you know some windows appear with their transparency value and some others don't like this door for example has a transparency value uh, meanwhile this windows as well but some of the curtain wall that you would expect um, the glass to have a transparency value do not so that's another very interesting effect um, so let me go to the top view okay so here for example let's go to um wireframe make sure we are in the cad mode and top plane i want to be on the top plane okay so in this mode you can see that the model you can work with the model and everything is well dimensioned and accurate um you know you let's see let me get my dimension so I want to know what this length is um, I want to change the font size maybe give it one meter okay there you go so I can know the length of anything that I'm working with at any time uh, let's see, I'm going to draw a line from this end to this end to know the length of this car. So, that car is 3.9 meters wide. Okay, so everything is there. So now, okay, these are some areas, these are some of the discrepancies as well again. Like this door, for example, this door, it did not import well. Um, as you can see, uh, it's outside of its frame, but this door is well, this door imported well, uh, this sliding door did not import well, this, you know, it's missing, it's, it's sliding, uh, this door as well did not import well, so some of the doors did not import well, so let's see, uh, I wanted to fix this, well, what I can do is, let's see, um, Let's see if I can cheat. No, I have to rotate you. Okay. So what I'll do is I'm just select that. Select that. And move it about 90. Do not copy. Move it 90. And basically select that grab that and move it right there and so the door is fixed so a lot of these things is going to be um mostly editing some of these oh i'm in the cat mode blender okay bring me there Okay, view, perspective, and uh, flat. Okay, where's my door? So this is what I mean by memory intensive. And so this file also is fairly sizable. I mean, it's a file that's about a hundred and a uh, hundred and something, a hundred and seventy megabytes in terms of size. So it's fairly sizable. Uh, it has a lot of information in it, but this is just uh, to show you what you get, 
right um, as you can see it's killing my memory well I think I'm gonna stop right here